Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review will be the review of The Order, Netflix Original Season 2. Let's get into it. So in Season 1, we had the whole big plot. You got introduced to the Secret Society. Um, the Secret Society that the, one of the main characters... Jack Gordon was trying to uh, get into and with the group called her um, Hermetic Order Secret Society and he ended up becoming a werewolf part of the Night's Watch um, group where they are going against the Hermetic Order so in part one, you had Edward Cumbertree, which was Jack Morgan's, uh, not Morgan, Jack Morton, his dad, and that he never knew, and Edward Cumbertree didn't know as well. So the whole plot was, the whole season was his revenge, and then Edward Cumbertree wanted to be the unlimited god of witchcraft and magic and that's how that pretty much went so we jump into season two and at the end of season one all the it was four wolves and they all had their memories wiped so that they would be able to they wouldn't remember everything that took place in the the war that had going on so when it comes into season two you see jack was messing with uh gabrielle dupree and you like what and jack got blonde hair but they've been running the spell on the uh four nightsmen and having them believe that you know they just normal people or whatever but somebody else is running some type of like witchcraft or playing with magic and it sets them off and their wolf comes out and as soon as the wolf comes out each uh member of the night's nice watch has their own person like their handler that they're assigned to and the handler keeps blowing the magic on them to make them forget who they actually were so that only works but so far and after a while you get annoyed with it so you're like all right this is dumb so they eventually start figuring each time that they be coming they come out of it they're starting to figure they're starting to remember things and then finally uh in the uh wolf pack with the four nightsmen you had uh of course jack morton you had um homish duke and uh, Randall, and then um, what was the other girl? It was a girl. What's her name? I think her name is like uh, Lilith. And um, she pretty much uh, she come. She used to be part of the um, secret society, and so. She comes up with the magic potion so that way when they try to make them forget, it won't work on them no more. So she she put that magic potion on them and then, then they played along with um, acting like they were still underneath the spells. And so when Alisa came in, she pretty much uh, knocked them out. But what she did was she let them have all their old memories back or whatever and so then that's when they picked the potion on that they can't won't be able to do that again so when, meanwhile they were going along with the whole um were under this trance with the order and their mission was to get back at the order and do some damage in the order so the order thought it would be a good idea to make them members to keep them close to them but the order took um all not the order, I said the secret I meant the secret society took all of their personal belongings, everything about them, and kept it in like a sacred vote with all the other stuff. So Jack 
and Elisa went in that vault and he got to see all their stuff. And so, meanwhile, they thought of a, the Night's Watch group, thought of an ideal, yo, let's uh, steal our stuff back. They don't deserve to have our stuff. So when they did that and stilt their, um, stilt their stuff, it was a spell to keep them out. And they ideal to get out of that, uh, to break that mode was to summon some demon that could go steal the stuff for them. But what happened is they got the wrong idea because the demons um, stole everything stuff that needed to be kept underneath a spell for years to come and the year that one of those uh things that needed to be kept under a spell was coming up and they stole the stuff and so by them stealing the stuff it caused a whole chain of events that caused lilith one of the night's nice watch wolves to go into like an underworld and their mission was to try to retrieve her back from the underworld. And then you had um, Vera Stone. Uh, her leadership was questioned during the whole time of all this is going on. Elisa's powers were um, shaky the whole season. And she come to find out it's because of Vera. She's attached to Edward somehow. And Vera kept a part of her. Um, of Edward going that makes Elisa's powers go. Meanwhile, there was another group forming that pretty much was doing their own magic, basically saying the secret society shouldn't be the only ones able to do magic and know how to do magic. So they start developing a fight against them. So the Night's nice Watch uh, sought them out, found out who they were, and then they they killed one of them and then one of the guys was a professor, and he you thought he was the main guy, but really was another woman. She's the main guy, and she got Elisa, showed Elisa some things. Elisa showed her some things, and she pretty much was telling Elisa, like, this magic power that the secret society has shouldn't be isolated to them. It should be free to help the world. And she was trying to do good with the magic and healing people and stuff like that, but it could cause... A chain of events to keep using magic um, in era like that. So um, from there, you had Jack Morton the whole time. He eventually changed his hair back to regular when he finally officially came out of that he's no longer underneath the um, Gabrielle Dupree's uh, spell. So she's been pretty much like a She's like the lightning rod. The whole her and um uh, Brando is like the lightning rods, and they end up hooking up. But they're like the lightning rods through the whole um, series, like quirky, comedy, comedic moments, and she got a spark. But what's interesting about her character? She's been with the secret society the whole time, and then she um, end up snooping around. And became a werewolf. Now, Jack has been like going in these trances where he's like daydreaming, where he speaks to his old professor that he killed, and pretty much he has um, two different wolves, Midnight and Silverback, that he has to choose which one he's going to become. And he has two wolves or whatever. So his choice was actually Silverback. And when he chose Silverback, the Wolf Midnight pretty much like took like a uh, like upset that he didn't he wasn't chosen. So he kind of like had some of a vengeance thing going on with um, Jack. So Gabrielle was snooping around, and she ended up getting snatched by Midnight. And then she came out of her thing where she was upset with Jack, wanted to kill Jack, and stuff like that. But now Gabrielle also always had a a distaste for Alyssa so Alyssa um, was her rival and so when Alyssa was going through her thing where she was you know wanted to take over they wanted to help Alyssa and so 
what end up happening at the end of the series pretty much. So the cliffhanger is Jack, when his visions, he always seen Alyssa, like, her throat cut and everything like that. And so he pretty much thought he was the one that was going to do it. So when they was going through their whole um, trying to get things back in order and on track, Gabrielle's character, her wolf, end up biting uh, Alyssa's throat, and Jack couldn't do nothing about it. You know, he tried, and then he was just saying, hey, man, he was like, help us. Isn't there a magic, whatever, that we can do? And then um, Vera Stone, the grand mate, um, priestess, whatever she is, says nothing we could do. And so at the end, it shows Jack walking with Alyssa, off into some woods area or whatever I guess try to um, salvage her life or whatever so you know on um, the series and it pretty much looked like the um, it showed Randall and Gabri Randall consoling Gabrielle because I guess you know when you become a wolf you do things like when Jack became a wolf silverback and he killed his professor he didn't mean to do that or whatever but it happened because the wolf takes over so what happened was uh, Gabrielle bit Alyssa, you know what I'm saying, so it wasn't really her, it was the wolf that kind of made her do it, and so it showed Randall consoling her, little if they came out of the underworld, when they pulled her out of the underworld, she was pretty much like yo, y'all y'all took me from my home, y'all should have left me there, whatever, whatever, so she something's off with her, and then um, Hammoth, part of the Night's nice Watch He's kind of like in limbo because he was kind of like the leader of them, but he don't have no control of the of group no more. And so Vera is still ahead, and it went from there. It got kind of like weird, not really weird, but kind of dumb. They brought in the old 90210 um, stars, Jason Priestley, and uh, I forgot who the other guy was. He was a um, a, a strong... He was a co-star on 90210 series, the hit series back in the 90s. And also you had, um, he's also the star of all the movie um, Sharknado. Man, what is that actor name? Um, what is that actor name? Pardon me. Pardon me on that. I'm not going... I can't let it go unless I find out. Yeah, Ian um, Zering. Ian Zering is his name. So he... They brought him in and they brought Jason Priestley in. And just because, like, they had their mask on. It was part of the order. Supposed to be, like... Like undercover that they actually part of this the hermetic order but it was kind of that whole moment scene and all that storyline that was dumb that that was real dumb i don't they shouldn't have threw that in there that just kind of like weakened the, the plot of the story overall season two it was it was okay um the potential of this could could go a whole nother direction but it, it brings it back to like gobs and ghouls, demons and good, good versus evil, um, good but have bad intentions, um, wolves and witchcraft and witchery, magic, and, so it goes off to somewhere else, so it has potential to go somewhere else, but, you know, I guess it's, it's a, it's a okay, good series, I, I can't knock it, you know what I'm saying, when season three come, I will tune into it. So it is a good season. So subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Once again, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you're an order fan. Till next time.